Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, the Cat Lady. Kind of lost myself there for a moment. My name is Babin and Wizard, and we're a cat. Fancy that. Cat Lady, cat. Cat Lady, cat. And we are trying to get out of our prison. Oh, poor kitty. It's alive! Hooray! As was expected. This is interesting music. It's like happy adventure time. <laughs> Very weird. And I don't know why we jumped up here, but we did, and we're jumping all over here. Save her, little cat. Must do it. Ooh. Ooh. I uh, don't think she'd want to be really saved at that point. Kill her cat. Kill her so that she may come back again because she is immortal. Or something. <laughs> Not exactly sure. Let us go in here. It's our only choice. A little kitty cat. It's kind of gruesome for the cat to see. Oh. Wow, that was strange. I thought it suddenly threw us into a first person view and that we were like doing the Windows 3D wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. Boy, the creeper. Hey there. Gorgeous. Um. I see my old lady brought the bleach again. again. <laughs> what a shame. Mm. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, uh, if you know what I mean. This guy is very weird. Uh, she does that every single time. What do they call it? Crazy. Trust <laughs> issues. <laughs> That's uh, it. <laughs> Trust issues. Well, never mind. Yeah. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna mm -hmm. touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you're in pain, so... Mm hmm. I've, I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. An option. He's so kind. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. <laughs> the person who does his voice acting does a really good be job. Dead before you'd feel any pain. He's really... Sounds Odd, good, doesn't it? Awkward, creepy. I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, and you know. No pressure. I don't know. Something else. Like uh, the only word that comes to mind is course, homely. <laughs> you can't see it. That bleach turns yeah. your eyes to nothing but jelly. Jelly eyes. Thanks. <laughs> the awkward pause and the resistance. So I'll just leave it for you here. Ah, oh, I thought you were gonna Feel do it for me. To use it. That that bullet's meant for you anyway. Thanks. You're so kind. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. <laughs> Awkward man. But aren't I tied what up? Is that? You can't reach it. Oh, well, what did you expect? Oh. Life's a real fucker sometimes. Real nice. Real nice. Right next to the cage with a dead cat. Oh, boy. Such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. We've chosen a really class hotel to stay in, haven't we? <laughs> if you could call it that. Ooh, a key. Swallow the key. Um, delicious. Uh-oh. Silence, says the cat. I want to go out that way, sir. Don't move. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wait for it. He'll see you if we go past. We gotta wait. 
Okay, now he's going down. Go for it, go for it. Yes! We are winners. I knew it was going to happen. That's why I waited. Lesson learned, kids. Wait for the creeper to look down at the gun first. Although, it's possible he might not have you know, noticed, but whatever. Okay, now we're here. We come down. Not up. I want it to go down. Go on down. There you go. Back into here? Why are we in here? Can I figure this jumping puzzle out? <laughs> All I know is left and right. I don't see anything else we could do. So I guess we'll go all the way to the left. To the left we go. We'll try spitting it out here. There we go. Good choice. What? <laughs> Who's this? I have My a hairball eyes. for you. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. Hmm. A key. Who are you? Say something. Anything. Mm hmm. I. I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Man. How's she even gonna find the gun? It's a good question. Well, it's colored now, so. Ugh. The gun! Damn. That idiot left his gun! God, I'll take it. Yeah. No! No, no, no! <laughs> I dropped it! Where is it? Herped. Where dirt. the hell is it? Oh boy. Left? No. Right? Floor. Search. I've got it. Hooray! We got the gun. Let's go left. Nothing. To the right! Gun. Shoot myself. No thanks. I'm going right. Anything else to the right? Nothing to the right. Still going right. Just to be sure. Okay. Shooting ourselves. I'm sorry, Mitzi. Yep. I have to break my promise. Goodbye, Mitzi. Goodbye. I think that that kind of, I don't know, makes sense? That's weird. <laughs> that, this is so weird, you know? She tries to kill herself, and then she realizes she doesn't really want to kill herself. Then she kills herself. <laughs> you are dead. 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 Thank you. I would never have known. But, you're not dead forever. This machine thing will pop up underneath and change it for you. Am I in you, or you, whatever you were trying to still? Hope you don't mind creepy hmm. posters. Yeah. It's your room. You can do what you like with it. But I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Mm hmm. Did you make these? <laughs> Interesting. No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. I see to the left is Downfall. <laughs> Another game, I believe, that Harvester had I made. I have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? Yes, that with the rats? Robert. Oh, yes. Uh, of well, the train course. station users. So, I remember that. Shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. Sure, I, know, I, promise I guess. I won't get in the way. And I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But I apologize for the creaky for chair if you heard it. <laughs> you won't hear to talk to each other, will it? Um. Are you yeah, sure let's you can drink one. in your condition? It won't make me any worse, that's for sure. I I'm guess not that's true. Any medication. I feel good. The way I see it. I haven't got much time left, so I might as well make the most of it. That makes sense, okay. I suppose. Why not? We can have a drink if you like. Do what Great. you want. I'll bring the wine. Cheers, as they say. Oh, damn. 
one of those bottles with a cork. She had that in her no, kitchen. In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. But the question is, is she dead? Too? No. Is she currently dead or no? Or was that dying in the dead world? <laughs> oh, I don't think there's any point in trying to figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's beyond my understanding. So let's go in. Need some lights. Let's grab a cork screw. And head on. She wanted a couple of glasses, didn't she? I don't see any in here. Don't think there'd be any in the bathroom. Be a weird place to keep your glasses. Uh, Captain? Take one glasses. Yes! Genius! One for me, one for you. And. Electrical Boogaloo. <laughs> don't know why I said it, it just rhymed, so that is why. And into the spare bedroom. Use the objects, I assume. Or give Found them. some wine glasses. Great. Now all we need is a corkscrew. <laughs> this is the simplest of most simple okay. point and clicking adventures like ever at this point with all this right. going on. That's all we need. Oh, Miss Ashworth? I really must say this before we start. Yeah? What must you say? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Yeah, good. It's good Very to know. funny, Mitzi. No, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. Creepy. <laughs> Awkward transition. Shoosh. Hmm. Hmm. How Let's are you planning one. to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. Yeah. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. Oh, that's brilliant I mathematics. Give me a Good hand, job. actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly There's baked There's a tea cake. missing in that you sentence. You see a new face, <laughs> you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. <laughs> I can't imagine Funny somehow that my guy would title. be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Aha, we're Anyone on the trail. You know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I, I want to solve your time. mystery, though. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where. And kill people! Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Pretty sure that's what she's gonna be doing. Oh, talk about the it's rain. It's not raining anymore. Talk about the big sea. I don't mind rain. Minute. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now oh, that's no, I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once when I was just nine or ten. I suppose that would make me very scared of I fogs. I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? Ooh, creepy. Hmm. Maybe you're one. right. I will believe in them when I see one. With this fog approaching fast, you might be in luck, Miss Ashworth. <laughs> I'm so funny. glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but there will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. I think this is true about everyone. Did you know they actually have a name always for be it? a little bit of fear. It's people of certain things. Fear of fog. <laughs> Interesting. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. Homiclophobia. 
So I had the no idea. Big C I learned something today. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. See. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. <laughs> Some like yourself even bigger than mine. Interesting. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Her name is glioblastoma. Huh. Hmm. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. <laughs> Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a <laughs> fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Interesting mm, thought. <laughs> you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? It's a funny way of putting it. He said I had a year. Hmm. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah, not awfully long. Is there anything? They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you Interesting want to talk about else? how she'd prioritize things in her life to doing this stuff that she probably would never really have done if she didn't think she was going to die. It's funny how everyone knows they're going to die eventually. It's kind of inevitable and obvious. But she, you know, when she's got a mission, she knows, oh, I am going to die really soon because of this. Instead of just, oh, mortality, I have it. <laughs> you know, it's interesting how that can put people into action for doing things sooner. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. Yeah, He's okay. Jack. Talk about him. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, I see. That's why she's so oh. nonchalant of it. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. Hmm. I just... don't know where to start. Let's see... How Talk about how he, he died. Die? How did spot. he die? I'll get to that, Miss Ashworth. <laughs> did I just say Let that twice? Just tell you more about him first. So you could understand what happened. Hmm. okay. Tell me how you two met. Let's do that. We then. knew each other for like forever. We grew up on the same street. Oh, that's sad. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. <laughs> well, she's got something positive sometimes. to look at for it. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. Hmm. He laughed. And he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. But it was 
awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. <laughs> Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. <laughs> he walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place when nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. Yeah, I bet. Can't make any future plans with someone that you know is going to die. So. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Hmm. Jack made That's those an pictures odd spot on your to wall. Stop talking about was that. he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. Hmm. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. <laughs> they liked death People together. People say it's depressing hmm. to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet. You are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Funny point. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there is a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Hmm. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment. <laughs> It's like Ugly took a vacation here <laughs> and never went home again. It's like Ugly took a vacation here. <laughs> How did he die? It's a good one. How did Jack die? Hmm. This requires a cigarette and perhaps a coffee. He was so distant the last few weeks before, before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly, but it eventually found him. Seems like rather, the fog is coming in. Found him. Or that's her smoke. There are those forums online, you know, about all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Hmm. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. Hmm. There's a guy there calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. Hmm. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. It's an interesting but the twist. Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He hmm. dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once them for good. That uh, sounds like a Faith. fantastic job. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. Mm. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the Eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. Hmm. He told me it was very simple. I have a feeling All it's not were simple. two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide hmm. that kills you within a couple of minutes. Hydrogen sulfide. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. Set. Reasoned with me. It's a chemical name for begged, chlorine gas? And eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance. But it was downright tacky and just wrong. Hmm. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his hmm. last words he said to me. Then he stormed oh, out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I yeah, even really. tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. 
Well, I guess to him, she was already dead because she was going to die so soon. He had a time frame on her life. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. Hmm. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew it was. Yeah. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day I've never gone there again. Yeah, I can imagine that there would be no reason to go back there ever again. Hmm. <sighs> Boy. I have a good feeling we're going to see a dead Jack, and it's not going to be a pretty dead Jack. Nice. He made warning signs. <laughs> there were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental hmm. deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out oh, there's a whole nice sick ideology <laughs> behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. Mm. You'd think Cultist. the police would investigate the whole thing. Sense. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now well, if I'm you could find so him. Close, I can almost think smell the police that could. How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. Hmm. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. Yeah, I suppose it would smell like rotten eggs as a sulfite. Being a sulfur base, I assume. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know hmm. I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. Yeah, person I what or I'd people this happened to me. who made this game to know, no suicides really apparently I want to face so that's another way people what he's done to me. do what they do you with know, funny dying is, don't know exactly what I'm trying to say with that where he, lives. he wants to meet me oh, nice. would you believe that how come well this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet it's usually a form of extreme bullying psychological cruelty those who are clever hmm. enough say, don't feed the troll, don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I of Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry hmm. troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. Indeed. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. <laughs> Great. Good job. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Yeah, I'd be careful. Sooner he's later, probably smarter than I'll you, find lady. Him. Trolls are pretty what smart. What are those two chemical products? Well, I'm not sure if you want to know that. Huh. I get it. 
you don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking <laughs> suicidal maniac. Yeah. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. <laughs> Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering victim. victim. Recovering? Yeah. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. Yeah. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. Yeah. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Hmm. Yeah, I because guess that's true. Die, we'll always find a way to do it. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I can she's promise telling me that her. I will never try this method. It's weird. Or any other method, for that matter. Thinking I'll need to Been remember there, this for done later. That. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah, I think I do. Yes. Good. Now, here, have the formula to kill yourself. Now. Excellent. The Problem. recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. What? Oh, boy. It's like two different stories in one. So she shoots herself, then comes back perfectly A-OK. -okay. I assume. What's this? So they used for catching cats. I thought these grabs were banned some time ago. Oh, yeah. I've been playing for a while. <laughs> I should probably end it for now and start this up next time. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Just so absorbed into it. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm going to cut it right here. We're going to start this up next time, like I said. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.